Though athletes usually earn the credit, a team is never successful without a great head coach. They get control of the players, they maximize their talent, and they outsmart the other coaches. And as a result, many of these coaches win championships. But some of the top coaches today are still waiting for that elusive ring. Though some of them may have won a title as an assistant or as a player, they continue to dream of winning an all as head coach. I'm Justin Fraction, and today we dive into the 10 best coaches who have yet to win a title. And a special shout out to Joel Castro for suggesting this list. We hope you appreciate it, and if you do, feel free to leave your ideas for lists down in the comments section. You never know, we might use one and give you a shout out. Brad Stevens Stevens was the head coach of Butler's basketball team from 2007 to 2013. He was then hired by the Boston Celtics, who were entering a rebuilding phase. But Stevens didn't need long to turn the ship around. He got the Celtics to the playoffs in his second year as a coach. In 2017, the Celtics won 53 games and reached the Eastern Conference Finals, thanks to Stevens working so well with their young players. But LeBron James was in the way every year. As a result, Stevens hasn't won that elusive title yet. He's young as are the Celtics. He'll get his chance, but the ringless Stevens makes our list for now. Elaine Vigneault Vigneault had a forgetful coaching stint with the Montreal Canadiens in the late 90s and early 2000s, but when the Vancouver Canucks hired him in 2006, he had quite the run. Vigneault took Vancouver to the playoffs in six of his seven years, getting them to within one game of a Stanley Cup title in 2011. Vigneault was fired in 2013 and was immediately hired by the New York Rangers. Vigneault and the Rangers reached the Stanley Cup final in 2014, but fell to the Los Angeles Kings in five games. Despite over 600 victories as a head coach, Bino continues to await his Stanley Cup victory. Marvin Lewis Lewis won a ring as an assistant with the Baltimore Ravens, but as head coach of the Cincinnati Bengals, this accomplished head coach hasn't come close to a Super Bowl. 2009 AP Coach of the Year has led the Bengals to the playoffs seven times, but they haven't won a single postseason game. Is Lewis at fault? Somewhat. But the coach can only do so much. With four AFC North Division crowns to show for it, Lewis knows what he's doing. Now, if he can just win a ring someday, somehow. Scott Brooks Brooks coached the Oklahoma City Thunder from 2008 to 15. With Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook at the helm, Brooks was able to turn them into a Western Conference powerhouse. That included a trip to the 2012 NBA Finals where they lost to the Miami Heat. But Brooks was fired after the 2014-15 season. He was scooped up by the Washington Wizards and led them to 49 wins and the second round of the NBA playoffs in 2017. His track record speaks for itself. With John Wall as a star player, Brooks may not have to wait forever to get his hands on a ring. He knows what he's doing. He just needs the team to execute. Bruce Boudreau The Washington Capitals were losing for a long time. They hired Bruce Boudreau, who took them to the playoffs in 2008. He won the Jack Adams Trophy as Coach of the Year as well. But with both the Capitals and the Anaheim Ducks, Boudreau saw so many division titles but little playoff success. Anaheim fired him in 2016 and he was hired by the Minnesota Wild. As Boudreau nears the 500-win club, we wait for one of his teams to do something in the playoffs. We've seen enough meltdowns by his clubs in the postseason already. Bruce Arians Arians won two rings with the Pittsburgh Steelers as a receivers coach and offensive coordinator. He then led the Indianapolis Colts to the playoffs in 2012 while taking over for the cancer-stricken Chuck Pagano. Pagano returned, and Arians took the head coaching job with the Arizona Cardinals. Arians revived the careers of Carson Palmer and Larry Fitzgerald. He registered winning seasons with them in 2013, 14, and 15, making the NFC Championship in the latter year. But Arians continues to wait for a Super Bowl victory as a head coach. And now that he's decided to step away from the game for the time being, who knows if he'll ever get it? Lindy Ruff Lindy Ruff has spent 19 seasons in the NHL as a head coach, and none of them have ended with him and his squad hoisting the Stanley Cup. Ruff came close while coaching the Buffalo Sabres in 1999, but his chances were foiled by a controversial Brett Hall goal in overtime of Game 6 that clinched the series for the Dallas Stars. Ruff still claims that it was no goal to this day and we don't blame him. Ruff also reached three more conference finals in his 15 years with the Sabres, and he spent another four seasons as the bench boss in Dallas. He's now an assistant coach with the New York Rangers, so it could be some time before he gets another shot at winning it all as head coach. Tom Thibodeau Thibodeau won a championship as a Boston Celtics assistant in 2008. Chicago Bulls hired him to be their head coach in 2010. After leading Chicago to 62 wins, Thibodeau was named Coach of the Year in 2011. Because of his great defensive philosophies, Thibodeau took the Bulls to the playoffs in each of his five seasons as head coach. But he was fired in 2015, despite a 647 winning percentage there. Thibodeau was hired by the Minnesota Timberwolves in 2016. With Carl Anthony Towns and other stars there, the T-Wolves begin to develop into contenders. Thibodeau's next task is to win an NBA championship as a head coach. Dusty Baker 
Baker has managed so many great teams, Barry Bond, San Francisco Giants, Chicago Cubs that choked in the playoffs, the Cincinnati Reds, and the Washington Nationals. Despite over 1,800 wins as a manager, Baker hasn't led his team to championship glory. He's been close many times, but Dusty's team always falls apart in the playoffs. And we'd hate to say it, but his bullpen management is the reason why. He did win a ring as a player for the LA Dodgers in 1981. He's long overdue to win it as a manager. Andy Reid Criticize him all you want, but Andy Reid's track record speaks for itself. He took the Philadelphia Eagles to five conference championship games. They reached Super Bowl 39, but fell victim to Tom Brady and the New England Patriots dynasty. Still, he finished with 130 wins as coach of the Eagles. Reid and Alex Smith united in Kansas City, turning the last place Chiefs into an 11-win squad that made the playoffs in 2013. Reid has posted a winning season every year in KC, and the squad is long overdue for a championship. By the time he's retired, Reid should easily be top five all-time in head coaching wins, but it won't matter if he doesn't win a Super Bowl as a head coach. What other great coaches have yet to win a title? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.